I didn't do research going into this movie when a movie is called His Only Son, and I knew it was a religious movie. I was thinking it was going to be more about Jesus. I was wrong. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing His Only Son. So what is this movie about? It's a pretty simple premise, actually, but I'm going to give you a little bit of synopsis because I'm not that much adverse into this story. His Only Son is about when the Lord God gave Abraham the ultimate test by commanding him to sacrifice his only son, Isaiah, on the mountain of Morhah, answering age-old questions as to why the Lord would require such a sacrifice. His Holy Son profoundly explores mankind's relationship to God and encourages viewers to turn inward and ask, can your faith still stand when you are asked to give everything? So yes, this is a PG-13 movie. I think that's the most comical thing. There's nothing PG-13 about this movie. I think when it comes to religious movie in the MPAA, they're very biased when it's coming to religious movies. I'll just put it there, period, dot, they are. There's not a lot you can say to make me change my mind. But anyway, you all know the story. If you know just a little bit about it, that Abraham goes to the mountain and is about to kill his son, but at the last second, God says, don't do it. However, this story goes into more of an Ash character and another shepherd of following them to this mountain and having this conflict about these soldiers on the road and what they're doing to this woman as well so do I like this film i thought it was a very simplistic movie and that's all it needs to be for a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget that is it little did i know the director was a marine in the iraq war and when he was in iraq he had you know you could say he found god i don't know if he actually found god there but he got out of the military gi bill film school and made this it's a five-year journey and he said, hopefully this movie made money. Look, Friday alone, it made $2 million. $2 million on a 250 k budget. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a win-win for him. And he's not going to have any issue getting the next movie he wants to do. But when looking at this movie, I think with the $250,000 budget, it looks good. It looks professional. And people say, oh, it can look a little cheap. There's not a lot of props here. You know, the production design is bare minimum. It's just tense. You got to think when this is taking place. This is taking place like thousands and thousands of years ago. So there aren't going to be a lot of shit. It's going to be a lot of wood, a lot of rocks, a lot of cloth. And that's about it. But I would say it's very simplistic to a fault. And I do wish some of the background characters and the background characters really mean these soldiers on the road. And this Ash character had a little bit more story to it. Because as a person that only really knows a bare basic. I didn't know about these different civili civilizations, is not the right word, neither is tribe. You could say different types of people from different parts of the world kind of colliding, you could put it that way. And I wish it did s explain a little bit more about why one is considered a slave, why one isn't. But to talk about the positives, like I said, for $250,000, it's really good looking. I mean, the acting's good. The uh, production to me is good. The cinematography is good. The look of the movie is very, very professional. And a person that isn't doesn't know that much, like you know, I expect people that really watch these films read the Bible. I've never read the Bible, but I know the story of Abraham. You know, the Noah, the Moses, Jesus, the apostles. So I know a little bit about it, but. Not no in depth, and this one really kind of didn't go in depth. It was very much the slave asking a question, Abraham answering. Another question gets asked, Abraham answers. Isaiah says something, Abraham answers. So you could say it's very simplistic to a fault when it comes to that storytelling element. And I did wish it went a little bit more deeper, like, oh, give me a gut punch of why it is like this, but it didn't do that because I think it expects the audience to know a little bit more about the story than just an average Joe like me. So like I said, the acting is good. I think the directing is solid. And the actual movie experience is there. I would say what falters is the writing and some of just the background characters of just wanting to know a little bit more about them. And then some stuff, you could tell they want to do a little bit more action, especially when there was a conflict on the road when it came to the soldiers and Isaiah, you know, kind of challenging them. 
they did a little bit of jump cut edits as well as just like someone's about to hit something and it goes to black and someone's so slowly falling down so you could tell they didn't have the budget or time to actually do something really intense they just had to show it. and that's considered the violent content and because of that this gets a pg-13 which is very hysterical in my opinion but overall his only son i was expecting to be more about jesus but it wasn't about abraham so his next movie he said he wants to be about when abraham dies what happens after that and if you did read the bible or i did visit noah's ark in kentucky and apparently in the bible people lived a lot longer so according to the bible if i'm not mistaken abraham lived to be like 700 and something years old uh people lived longer back in the day uh so i mean take it with a grain of salt of what you believe and what you don't believe but as a movie going experience i enjoyed it it immersed me but it can be pretty slow paced for people wanting a little bit more umph to their story so his only son will receive a three and a half out of five with food tom. So he goes at 70%. So he did the critics news scores gave this one. So have critics, there's four of them, but audience score at 95% with over 100. And the four critics, we have three positive and one negative. Pretty solid 75% then. So we have my 75, the 70, and the 95. Chase talked with the blue food tom. Like, comment, subscribe. A lot of things, blue tom, topia, you blue tom. Thank you for watching. a fantastic day. Doesn't matter if you're watching it today tomorrow a week from now a month from now or a year from now i love every single one of you and yeah like i said i try to watch every movie in theaters and this is one of them and i had to watch this one in spinning gold really quick because they leave tuesday for mario and air i think a lot of movies are coming out next weekend but mario is about to make buku money <laughs>